Welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one and like this video. Thumbs up if you like it. I want to talk about something you can do for your skin. It's easy and it's free. You're probably already doing all kinds of amazing things for your skin. All kinds of lotions and potions and uh, all those wonderful things. But what are you doing for your skin on the inside? Because it matters. So if you're not taking care of your skin from the inside, it's time to start thinking about that. And the one quickest, easiest way to feed your skin from the inside is water. Are you drinking enough water? So what's your plan for drinking water? Do you have one? Are you telling yourself that it's in my soda, it's in my sugary drink, it's in my tea, there's my water, it's in my coffee? So that doesn't count. Actually, sometimes some of those ingredients will actually negate the positive attributes of drinking water, so it's just a waste. I would say water, clean, pure and simple. So I just thought I would talk a little bit about water because it's feeding your skin from the inside out and it feeds a lot more than that. So just a couple of quick things I've written down for you. Reasons to drink more water. First of all, it is great for all your internal organs because our bodies are made up of mostly water. Um, it helps to curb hunger, which is always good because sometimes you have to ask yourself, am I really hungry or am I just thirsty? because how would you know the difference? So drink a bunch of water, drink a glass of water, and then ask yourself, maybe I'm not so hungry as I thought I was. It probably was thirst. Um, and it relieves the symptoms of dehydration. I've got a little list here of dehydration symptoms. See if any of this sounds familiar. Increased thirst, dry mouth, tired, sleepy, uh, decreased urine output, well that's, an, that's obvious, and headache, dry skin, dizziness, what if you could just drink a big glass of water and feel better? Try it. I remember somebody said, um, you know, I had a headache and they said, drink a glass of water. Maybe it'll fix your headache. I drank the glass of water, headache, gone. Then I had to ask myself, how many times did I take an Advil or a, you know, Tylenol or whatever you're gonna take for a headache? How many times did I take something for a headache? And really it was the glass of water that got rid of the headache and I didn't need a pill. So for me, when I have a headache, the first thing I do is, I drink a big glass of water. So you probably already knew all of this and it's probably not exciting. And if you're still with me, if you haven't left me over this, I wanna give you some how. Because some people aren't used to drinking water and I can give you some easy ways to get going on it and just get it into your, your daily life. So if you're not drinking water now, if you're drinking other things, it's an acquired taste. It seems like it's nothing at first, but it will become your preferred beverage. I promise you that. It's amazing. So I would say start with a goal each day of how many ounces you're going to drink and either fill it up in a jug or jugs or bottles and measure it for the day and just say my goal for today's water is for me it's around 60 ounces and yes there could be higher and it could be lower but you'll find your perfect amount um, one rule of thumb I've heard that is pretty good is take your weight and half it and that's your ounces and that only works for normal weight people if someone weighed 600 pounds of course you couldn't do that so you got to find your own amount but pick an amount that's your goal and then fill up a jug and try to get it try to get it gone by the end of the day that's one thing Choose water whenever you can. So if somebody says, would you like a soda? Say, no, I'd like a water. Ice water, please. So instead of choosing tea or all of those sugary drinks, which just add calories for no reason when you could be drinking yummy water. Mm, really good. And add ice. And adding ice makes the water cold and that helps burn a few more calories too over warm water. Bottled water. First of all, yuck. Bottled water. I, I just feel like personally, no matter how hard they try, I don't believe they can stop that plastic from leaching into my water that I want to drink. So I hate bottled water. I really do. I like fresh water. I like my water fresh. There's this new craze to adding salt to water. I wrote this down. They want you to choose their water, so they make it taste different than water. And a popular bottled water brand Dasani, for example, lists magnesium, sulfate, potassium chloride, and salt amongst, alongside the purified water. So why don't we just have purified water and leave all that other stuff out? I can taste it because I'm a water fanatic. I love my clean water. Smart water has calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, potassium bicarbonate. I don't know, doesn't sound like water. Nestle Pure Life's list include calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate, and magnesium sulfate. These are just a few brands. Bottled water companies are purifying water and then they add those things in. If you're filling up your own water bottle, just make sure that it says that it's BPA free. So this says right here, 
BPA free. Um, that's just a chemical that they use to make some plastics. It's less, and, since people have discovered it, it's less and less out there. But if you don't see BPA free, it probably has BPA in it. And that can get in your water and you'll be drinking a chemical you wouldn't really want. Um, I've found some water bottles that are glass. Those are nice because you know you're not getting plastic that way. That's my favorite is just to have a glass water bottle. Another thing too is good water. Can water be better? Yes, it can. Um, I, I live in the country. I'm on well water and it has a lot of deposits and all kinds of minerals in it. Um, maybe some of them are good for you, maybe they're not, but it doesn't taste great. So what I do is I filter it. I've actually got two filters that I use. One has a ceramic uh, cylinder and it goes through that and um, it could literally filter out anything. It's just amazing. And then the other one has some magnets and some stones and all kinds of cool stuff that it goes through, but that water just tastes so clean. Once you've tasted clean water, you'll never go back. So I filter my water at home. I hardly ever drink from the tap, although there's nothing wrong with the tap water. Drink it. It's better than soda. It's better than sugary drinks. I'm not against tap water. I just say, hey, if I can get clean water, I will. Making me thirsty. I love the taste of water. It's so amazing. Water just slides right down your tongue and it just feels like you're filling up your body with goodness. I love water. I didn't always love water. I acquired the taste and now I prefer it over pretty much everything. There's just nothing better to drink. I promise you that. So when you build this habit of drinking water, your reward will be glowing skin. You don't want to have dry skin. You want to have glowing skin and water feeds you from the inside out. So good luck. I hope you get your water in. Tell me your water goal for the day. I'd love to see it. Leave me a comment below. Let's get in there and let's drink some water. Oh, water. It's amazing miracle water, isn't it? I love water.